paper straws. I can't stand paper straws. I got you because I've actually started carrying a metal straw in my backpack because I cannot stand paper straws that much. Hey, what's up family? I'm Rachel. And I'm Joe. And we are Two, two Crazy, Crazy Ketos. Ketos. If you're new to our channel, welcome. Here on Two Crazy Ketos, we do different things like recipe videos, we do product reviews, we talk about various keto topics, and then every Monday, we sit down on the couch for Keto on the Couch. We just kind of talk about what's going on in our lives for the week. You can find us on different social media platforms like Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. And we have a website, which is twocrazyketos.com. That's where you're going to find all of our different recipes. Now, we do upload at least five new videos every single week, so make sure you subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to hit the little bell icon and that way every single time we upload a new video you'll be alerted to it so let me start off right away and say sorry about the audio we brought our microphones but for some reason this cable is not working with that camera so you're gonna have to rely on the audio from there so it may sound a little windy muffled sorry about that we try we tried we're having a date day I'm so excited and we have a very special occasion for this date, yes. and that is our oldest son has purchased a home about an hour and a half to two hours away from us, yep. and we are gonna go get to see his home. I am so proud of him. I was certainly not able to buy a home by myself no. without my parents' help at the age of 22, but he did. He bought a house, and uh, we're super proud of him. So he's an electrician and I'm really proud of him. He, he decided to go to the trade route. He's doing really well. We're headed up to see his new home. We're excited about it. Now he is much more private and serious than Anthony and Caleb. So we won't take it in the house and let you see the house, but. We figured since we're doing this, Rachel used to vacation in this area a lot when she was growing up. So we're gonna kind of make it a date. Maybe we'll even go out to eat, who knows? Let's do it. But. I've also got my treat for the car. Yes, the Cereal School Cheese Poofs. I feel so bad that we did a review. Well, it's not Cereal School. It's Schoolyard Snacks. That's right. It's Cereal School when you're buying cereal. It's Schoolyard Snacks when you're buying... It will always be Cereal School to me. It will be. But yeah, I feel bad that we did the review on these things. These things are awesome. I'm eating like a you bag You feel bad a day. we did a review on it? I feel bad that they're sold out already. They'll get more. So... These have become like usually my snack for the day that I eat it part of with either as a meal or with a meal, but I just love them. And if you haven't seen it, this morning I did a glucose test for Curly Girls candy. I'll leave a link for that up here. But yeah, so I've already killed my blood sugar for the day, so might as well enjoy these as well. You're done. It's over. <laughs> Let's get going. Ah! What? Before we get on the highway, we've got to go home. Why? Because I just got a text message from our washer. <laughs> I got a washing machine that says, like, it's connected to the internet, so it lets you know when the laundry's done. It can even allow you to start the laundry. We'll just message Anthony and tell him to change it over. Yeah, because it can't sit. It will sour. You made fun of me for getting a washer and a dryer that connected to the internet. Should we put the kids on this feed? So I think they we get, should. They get the thread that like, hey, laundry's done, move it over. Plastic straws, much better. You don't want to use my metal straw? Well, I'll save your metal straw because then you're gonna have to clean it. The plastic one I can just throw out. I do not understand like the whole idea of paper straws. Like, I mean, yes, it saves the environment, does but it though? They don't taste good on your mouth. They feel weird. And then as the liquid comes through it, they just like turn into sogginess. Well, what I don't understand is we're saving, you know, the environment with the straw, but the lid is plastic and the cup is styrofoam. So I don't know. That's what we should do for today's vlog. Things that annoy you. Text messages that come in right at the most inopportune time. From Joanne Fabric, of course. Okay, so here is my biggest thing that grinds my gears, at least this week. Right. Rebates. We were talking about them on our live stream the other day, but we had to buy a new washer and dryer. Now, we did get a really good deal on the washer and dryer. We have a friend of ours that works at Lowe's, and he was able to help us out with his employee discount, but it came with a rebate. And the rebate is a really good rebate. It's $200. Yeah. 
but they're sending it to you in the form of a gift card. Did you um, electronically mail in that rebate or do you have to use like a stamp and an envelope? No, I did the electronic version. So at least, at least we've gone that far. Right. And it's not as bad as Kohl's cash where you have to come back and you can only use the rebate in Lowe's or you can only use the rebate like on another LG product. But I can't stand rebates that come in the form of a gift card because here's what happens. You get a $200 gift card, now you have to somehow either spend the entire $200 in one sitting or you have to remember how much did I put on here. Right. So let's say you spend $78. You have to now in your mind remember I have $122 left on this gift card because when you get down to the end, like what are you going to do? So what I do is I use that entire gift card to pay a bill. Right, so when we go to pay good. the electric bill, I'll just take that $200 and I'll pay the electric bill with that or at least pay $200 of our electric bill because I wish we had a $200 electric Wouldn't bill. Wouldn't that be nice? And then I'm done with it and then pay the balance another way. Okay, so we put out the question, what grinds your gears? And we're already starting to get some responses to that. So the first one comes from Leanne Darnell Roberts who says, when my family members get a new cup every time they get a drink. <laughs> that is super annoying, especially at a party. A lot of times I will put out the cups and a Sharpie marker, write your name on the cup, and then you won't have to get a new cup every single time and I won't have so much garbage to pick up at the end of a party. Lori says that bad table manners really grinds her gears. I do not like bad table manners from my children, especially. Like, don't shame me in public with bad table manners. Shauna says that keto advice from non-keto people grinds her gears. I agree. I love it when people like come up to you and say like, hey, you should try this on keto. Are you on keto? No? Okay. There we are, passing one of the largest mountains in Florida. Look at that. Is that majestic? All right, so Christopher has a great one that's gonna make you smile. Okay. Replacing a burger bun with lettuce. I, as soon as you said it. Disgusting, he says. As soon as you said replacing a burger bun, I knew his thing was gonna be with lettuce because Christopher can't stand the lettuce. He hates lettuce on a burger. Okay, I definitely have something that grinds my gears. What? South Florida hair. <laughs> I get my hair exactly the way I want it, I step outside and one of two things happens. Either the, the humidity hits it and it explodes into Little Orphan Annie or it's raining outside and flattens it completely. When the person you share a bathroom with doesn't replace the toilet paper roll after. Are you insinuating I don't replace the toilet paper roll? Because we have a bidet now. Well. I still want paper. You obviously still use paper too because the paper gets depleted and we've got to have each other's backsides on this. Okay, now to go along with that though, more than not replacing the toilet paper roll, because I don't understand our kids. I'll go use their bathroom occasionally. They don't have a bidet. And there's just no toilet paper. I'm like, what are they using? Leaves? <laughs> their hands? No, here's the one that really grinds my gears. When somebody refills the toilet paper roll, but puts it going the wrong way, right? So you either have to go over or under. I wanna know, how do you like the toilet paper refill? Are you over Do you or want under? it coming over or do you want it coming under? I want it coming over. I just want it there. Okay, I can switch it, but if I have no paper, I'm in trouble. Okay, I'm moving up here, no mask required. 
I'll hold your drink for you. What are you doing? You know what really grinds my gears? When you ask somebody, do you want anything? When you go to the kitchen, go in the store, anything, they say no, and then as soon as you get back, they're like, I really could have used one of those. And then they start drinking your drink. Yours tastes better than mine would have tasted. So we went to John Paul's house. How fun was it to leave all of the doors open and the air conditioner running as we left? I loved it. I just, I opened up everything. I flushed his toilet. I loved it. Actually, honestly, weren't you so proud? I'm super proud. Again, like I did not own my very own brand new home, like brand new construction at the age of 22. So I'm like super, super proud of them. It's a very nice house. Everything is brand new. We had to buy all new appliances. It's so. little, it's first house size. It's the perfect size that you can actually keep up with when you are first starting to keep house. Yeah, I mean, but it's still a three bedroom house. You know, nice carpeting. He's got a nice big yard. It's a good grower house. I love it. So while we were in John's house, we got some more replies on Facebook. Okay. Tamara Bass says, when drivers don't use their turn signals. <laughs> I'm super guilty of that. I That's am so me. sorry, Tamara. I you, Wait, first, let me clarify. I use my turn signals when I'm making a turn like coming off of this road onto that road. I use my turn signals in traffic when I want to change lanes and oh, there's yeah. people behind me. But if I'm just, say, like driving down the highway and there's really nobody on the highway, no, I, I don't use turn signals. I'm trying to get better in my neighborhood. Me I too. Can't, I can't take for granted that everybody knows my car and they know me and yeah. He's close to a Bass Pro Shops. How fun is that? All right, Kayla would totally love this one. Angie says, changing the rules in the middle of a game. <laughs> So before we go home, we're going to run into Tractor Supply because there's one right up here and the closest one to our house is 45 minutes away. And we're super old and get excited by visiting new Tractor Supplies. Before we do that though, let's check in on Instagram. Okay, so Instagram story says Elsie Franson um, says keto bashers. Yes, people who bash keto, especially the people who will say, hey, how did you lose all this weight? And you'll say keto and they're like, oh, that thing that's like really high fat, you're going to die. Well, I love it when they haven't even asked you any questions. They don't know you and they just start saying like hateful things. Do you have your mask? I have my mask, but I don't know what the protocol is here. I see people going in with no mask. Uh, I would prefer to not wear a mask, but I don't know. Tractor supply. I totally want this. <gasps> I totally want this. No, I want Please. that. I want this. No. This it's super cute. There is so much cool stuff here, but ooh, this is the tool section. So boring. I am looking for an indestructible dog toy because Tabitha tears everything apart. Okay, so you're buying stuff to make the coop not smell. That's right. But they're chickens. It's like they're outside, and it's gonna rain. So we don't need that kind of stuff. Well, you know what we don't need. More toys for Tabitha. We absolutely need more toys for Tabitha. Think so? Yeah, and here's the thing. That one, look, the eyes are embroidered on, so she won't chew them off. She is gonna rip the eyeballs off this immediately. I can't believe you and Anthony are cooking this. Why this not? Weekend. It's pig. How sweet it is. Pigs are only good for one thing, eating. <laughs> My kids are buttheads. I feel like we need to get that shirt, or at least make one. How cute We should is have this? a Two Crazy Kiddos My Kids Are Butthead shirt. I found something else that grinds my gears. What? Invisible deodorant that is not invisible at all. And in fact, it covers all of your shirt. While you're going to the bathroom, I found you a present. Uh-oh. Chicken poop. What is this? Chapstick. Is it supposed to taste like chicken poop? Because that's a terrible marketing strategy. I it's think the main ingredient is avocado oil. And not chicken poop. Let me say. Mmm, it smells good. Avocado oil, beeswax, joba, joba, oil, jojoba oil, lavender essential oils, sweet orange essential oil, and vitamin E. What do you think? I think it tastes delicious, and my lips feel better than chicken poop for sure. 
Oh my gosh, are we going to Texas Roadhouse? Is this Texas Roadhouse? I told you, it's ah! date day. I'm so, okay, I'm getting prime rib. Yes, you can have prime rib because it's our date day. Yay! How excited are you right now? I'm so excited right now. I can taste it. So how do you feel having a child old enough to have a house? So old, but you know what's funny? We still have money on moving day to be able to go out to eat. Usually, we are stringing all our pennies together to move into the house. So it's kind of a weird feeling that the money is being spent by our child and not by us. Okay, first course, we've got salad. Beautiful. And blue cheese dressing with some extra crumbles on the side. So look at this. Does that look amazing? We got it loaded this time. I didn't get the toppings on it before, but I was like, what the heck, more food. And look at this. Amazeballs. That is by far my favorite meal. It's guaranteed every time we've eaten at Texas Roadhouse in Nebraska, we've eaten it in down in South Florida, almost to Miami. Here we are in Fort Pierce, always consistently amazing. Okay, so fun fact. They, in order to reopen the restaurants, they've had to put these like plastic dividers between us and the people behind us. I don't want to get what they've got. Right. But for some reason, <laughs> there's none right there. Obviously, they're not. There's no danger of them being sick. Okay, so we're almost home, and uh, yeah, we're gonna close out the vlog with a nap. With a nap. Well, we're gonna close out the vlog right now and then go home and take a nap. Okay, let's let's finish driving first before we take the nap. Yeah, we'll definitely do that. Hey, why am I driving? Can I be the one that takes a nap while you drive? Because it's date day. <laughs> well, hey, you got a vlog and an unexpected full day of eating on keto. I'm so happy. When you go out to eat. I love it. Well, that's gonna be our video for today. If you like these kind of full day eating vlogs, check out this video that's right up here. You can also take a look at our most recent video, which is right down here. And if you haven't subscribed yet, what are you waiting for? Go ahead and click right there and subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to hit the little bell icon and that way every single time we upload a new video, you'll be alerted to it. Until next time. Bye. bye.